Sí, ya queda. You knew how potent this offense was. There were a couple of times where the ball gets on the ground at your guys' feet, and they aren't able to come up with it. Those are, those are big moments. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of turnovers. We had opportunities for a couple of turnovers that you don't come up with. It. You just can't keep giving those guys at bats. I mean, they get at bats, and you know, unfortunately, we didn't get them in punt formation enough. I think we got them there one time. We blocked that punt. But uh, you know, they're a tremendous offense. Uh, you know, they're well coached. He's a tremendous quarterback. Uh, we talked all along. They got great receivers. Sean Austin is an underrated running back. I mean, he's a big physical kid that can break tackles. He did that today. I know. I know you're not happy with the tackle. No, not at all. I mean, you know, our goal is have single digit missed tackles. It's hard to go. I mean, that's how we probably didn't have that in the first quarter. Uh, talk about the cushion your cornerbacks were having on on, on Bailey and uh, Tavon. And did you try to change that up? And did anything work? No, oh, I think they tried to change it up at times. I don't think a whole not not much of it worked. It's obvious. You put that many points on the board, it didn't work a whole lot. And, you know, we gave them a couple of those, you know, and they, you know, they, they're, they're, they're a really good football team. We turned over a couple of times there, too, to produce 14 points. That's not good either. So we got to go back and get better. That's all. How disappointed you were in the penalties, especially in the first quarter? 48 yards total offense, 49 yards of penalties. Well, you can't, you can't have penalties. I mean, you got you to be smart and you got to eliminate penalties. You did a very good job in the first quarter. I thought, you know, the second half there was pretty clean. We had to win a hold and call it. We had a touchdown there. I think I'm actually see that on film, but uh, you, you got to get better. You can't, you can't have it. What do you think about Cato's play within the offense? I mean, I thought I thought he played well. I mean, I, I don't know what I look. You know, look up there. I think he had over 400 yards. He threw the ball around for over 400 yards, and you know, had the one interception that was uh, the ball was tipped or dropped or that type of thing. But I thought overall he ran the offense well. I think he's uh, he's getting better as a quarterback. He made some plays. We just got to you know, continue to do that. You all proved how many how many different weapons that you all have. You know. I think 13 or 14 different guys caught a pass today. You know, I don't, you know, I don't know. I think some of those young kids were in there. I thought the two freshman running backs were in there and played pretty well, didn't turn it over. So, you know, I thought there's some there's some positives on the offensive side of the ball. We just got to get better, of course, on defense. Dobson didn't play a lot in the second half. Is he okay? Or? He's fine. We're going to play some of those younger kids and we got in play. Anything specifically you have in mind def defensively? Well, we got to get better. I mean, you, you can't, you know, you got to tackle better and you got to, and you got to get off blocks better, and, and like I said, that's a, you know, let's give them some credit now. I mean, we, we got to get a lot better, but they're they're going to they're going to do that to a lot of people this year. And uh, you know, they do a great job of uh, he does a great job with that offense, and they got some playmakers, and they do a good job of shooting the ball around, and getting their hands. Coach, you said you got to give them some credit. Did, do you feel like this West Virginia offense is one of the more talented offenses you face as a head coach? I hope. <laughs> I hope they are. I don't think we're any better this year. If I do, we got problems. But uh, no, they're good. They are. I mean, call it what it is. I mean. You know, they're, uh, they're good offense. He starts with the quarterback, and he's the best there is. Tough getting pressure on him when the coach. Yeah, it was. We didn't. We didn't get any pressure on him. And that, that offensive line's grown up a lot, too. I mean, they're a lot better than a year ago. They're, they're a lot more physical. They're they, they, they they you know, doing a good job with that team. They're, they're a good offense. Uh, Garrett Scott, do you know anything about him? Yeah, I don't think he's too bad. You know, I thought we broke it. I thought he, we lost him there. You know, at their beginning, but I think he's, uh, I don't think he broke his area. I think he's going to be fine. Was it an ankle or a chair? I think it's just a leg. I don't know for sure. It's a Assess the offensive line, especially after Garrett went out and uh, Demeyer came in. You know, I thought for the most part we moved the ball around pretty well. I mean, we hurt ourselves with the one holding penalty. We had a touchdown there. We had a holding call. You know, down there, we were on what, three yard line. I think we stuck it in there for a touchdown. We lost you know, two points off the board there because of a holding ball. So, you know, I thought they did a pretty good job of putting hats on people and blocking. I mean, they evidently did something like that. You know, 500 yards into the offense. So, they did some good things. But the bottom line is, you got to stats on me a whole hell of a lot when you lose a football game. You know, you win a football game, you can do that. Red zone opportunities, you all were a lot more efficient, got into the end zone, which is something last year in these situations you all struggled with. We did, and there's one because one holding call down there was only one to where we stuck it in there and got called for a hold. I think like for the most part, we, we scored and we did get the ball in the red zone. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Those kickoff rules, I mean, they didn't 
they didn't play a role in win or loss, but did they change the game a little more than you thought? I don't, there wasn't quite as many returns as you normally get because their guy you know, was able to kick it in the end zone. And, you know, that, so there wasn't near as many returns as it probably would have been if, if, if it would have back five yards. But overall, I'm not sure it changed too much. Tyler Williams? Play plays well, you know, I don't know what he averaged, but the, you know, the problem is he got kicked the coverage a little couple times there when he kicked it to Tavon with that much space, he got problems. And he's a hard guy to tackle, and uh, there's going to be a lot of people having a hard time tackling him in space. You know, this year on both kickoff returns and kickoff returns. One more, guys. That delayed draw, how how good of a play was that? They were all good plays look like to me today. I mean, they ran with like a good play, so uh, it was, you know, whatever you need, but they're, 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 they're doing a good job with their offense and shit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Don't worry, Jack nearly broke it already.